hi everyone hope you are doing good welcome to the next video on my youtube channel my name is Saurabh Bharti Microsoft Dynamics 365 professional and this is the platform where I come and share my knowledge and experience with you all so without further delay let's start the today's topic and today's topic is about the uh, mobile app approval management app which has been recently added in Microsoft Dynamics 365 so we will be talking about uh, that that how you can have the purchase order and the purchase requisition approval through the mobile app and how you can configure and use it I'm also going to talk about uh, the different mobile apps which are available and which were available and what is the plan uh, 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 around those different mobile apps from the Microsoft side. So let's start for this today. So now on my screen, if you uh, see what I have done is that there are different mobile apps which were available. If you go to your Microsoft Dynamics 365 FNO screen and there, you, there is one option where you can see different mobile apps options which which are available traditionally so now these are the different like inv invoice approval expense management purchase order timesheet inventory on hand asset management so these are the different apps which are available there but microsoft plan is to replace them and, and launch or the launch or the uh, provide by a different or the new version of these mobile apps based on the power apps so if you see the what is the deprecation plan for this so all these apps are being replaced by the new app and today the highlighted one for us is the purchase order and the requisition one which we will be talking about today but if i move to the next slide there are different mobile apps which were available for us like company directory my team cost controlling sales orders in the vendor collaboration as of now from the microsoft learn portal if you will go and look at that the status of these mobile apps are retired so which means as of now there is no plan which microsoft has published to uh, talk about these different apps whether they are going to there is going to be a new app available for replacing them but as of now the stated whole status holds as that these are going to be retired so that's the overview about the different mobile apps capabilities which are available in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Finance and Operations. Now today we are going to focus on one of the app which is your approved PO and requisition from mobile devices. So if you talk about this, uh, what happens uh, many times uh, we have uh, uh, the approval process defined for the purchase orders and the purchase requisitions on the purchase or, uh, procurement side and nowadays uh, whenever these approvals are submitted now these are going to let's say a general manager or any controller or any purchasing managers uh, for the approval uh, so they need to now these are working through your standard workflows which we have defined in Microsoft Dynamics 365 so these goes to them and you trigger the email notification but for approving them they need to log into the uh, Dynamics 365 environment and review those uh, different uh, transactions the orders and the requisitions which are submitted and then approve it but now with this mobile app they can access all these approval requests through the mobile app and take the appropriate action for these transactions now talking about the availability of this particular app it is available as a preview feature as of now which is 10.0.41 the different roles which you need to have uh, for using this app is your buying agent purchasing agent and the purchasing manager and you can share this app once you install to all the different users whom you want this to be used so that can be done through the power platform admin center 
Now, prerequisites for this is that you should have the LCS integrated with Power Platform Admin Center. You need to have the mobile app deployed. You need to have the data worse configured. So those are the uh, uh, different features which you might have seen that are the prerequisites for each and every feature nowadays which are coming around the Power Platform or the Copilot or the AI. So let's talk about this installation of this app, sharing of this app, and then we will have a small demo that how you can see this app into your the installed app and how you can take the actions and what are the different options available there. Now this particular mobile app, you can get it from the app source. So you can log into the app source and there you will find the name as Dynamics 365 Approval Management. Though this particular app is specific uh, for now for purchase order and the requisition, but as the name suggests that Dynamics 365 Approval Management and I'm guessing that Microsoft has more plans around this particular app. So as of now, they have added only two transaction ties for the approval, but in future, I'm assuming that they are going to add more transaction type, more document into this particular app, in, in, into this approval management app so that you can have your workflow approvals through one place. So once you click on get now, this will ask you to select your Power Platform admin environment and you can install it. Once you install that, you can log into your Power Platform admin center where you can see this particular app available for you as an installation. So I'm just going to my environment where I have installed this in the admin center. So what I'm going to do is first, let me go to the environment first. So you can, uh, once you log in, you should have your environment listed here where you have installed this. Now what I'm going to do is, first thing is that if you click on this, uh, app here, Dynamics 365 apps, you should be able to see this particular app here, which will be your, if I scroll down Dynamics 365 approval management. So if you see it here, this is your Dynamics 365 approval management. Now, once that is done, uh, you can also look, uh, now this is a power apps. So we, you can go to the power apps here for this particular environment and then you can look at that this is your approval management app which is available here and now if you want to share this with your different users you can just click on the share here and then you can add the different users to whom you want to share this particular app uh, uh, and then you want them to use this. So that is how you can install and then you can share with your different users. Now, how do you install this? So you can install, so, so you can install in, in the, so for, to use this app, now it is, now what is the interface in your mobile app or the system? So you can install Power Apps uh, app into your local system as well as into your mobile app. Now, once you install that, what you will be seeing that all the different apps which are available for your environment and once you log in with your credentials, right, will be, will start reflecting here. Now, since I have installed in my desktop application, now this approval management app is reflecting here. Now I can click on this and this will open the app for me. And then we can explore that what are the different options we have it here. Now, once this app is opened, uh, it is going to have this home page. So where you are going to see the different documents which are available for your approval. Now, prerequisites for this is that you need to have the app installed and everything is done, but you also need to have your workflow configured so that when you submit them, it is start appearing to the approver's home screen in the Power App. So now I can look at this. So here I have options of drop down the home, purchase order and requisition. 
the home is basically where it will show all the different documents so right now it is supported by two different documents purchase order and the requisition so it is showing me that there are two approvals required for purchase orders and the two is required for your purchase requisitions and this is the reason why i'm saying that this is a common app which microsoft will be planning and in, in the future roadmap they are going to add more up different types of approvals on the same particular app now on the right hand side you have an option of uh, doing the filter so you have uh, the category name and the different uh, 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 filters which are available you can do the sorting you can refresh you can also have the notification available for you here so you have all the notifications which are available where you have been notified for this uh, the approvals which are assigned to you now let's go inside uh, one of the uh, document now here uh, you have both the views available so you have the purchase order there are two purchase orders which are available for us for the approver so 251 and 250 and this is the header view for you now if you want to look at the line view you can just switch it to you can just select one of the let's say the purchase order here and then i can just switch it to the uh, to the to the details of this particular purchase order which is there so now i think it is taking bit time it's a bit slow in my system so it is going to fetch the information about the the purchase order which we have selected the workflow instructions the total amount the lines which we have it all those things it is going to show us here so let's wait for that to get loaded so now if you see here uh, it has the header details that which vendor what's the total amount and everything it is reflecting here now you also have an option of looking at the distribution of this particular purchase order so you can click on this and you can look at that which main account and the financial dimensions it is going to post this purchase order you can review your amount and then bottom you have the different lines which are available here you can if you want to ex, uh, look at the details of any of the line you can click on this you can look at that which product uh, from which vendor what amount how many quantities then you can have more details about that which unit of measurement currencies when it was submitted so all these informations are available for you and then in the bottom it also shows you the total amount of this particular purchase order and this is where you have the different options available you can approve this you can reject you can delegate you can ask for the request change so all the actions which you have in your uh, in on your workflow within the dynamics those options are available here as well you can also look at the workflow instructions if there are any so for example in your configuration of your workflow you have submitted some instruction that you need to review this this field or or something else you can just uh, re uh, review those information and if you want to approve this you can just hit this approve you can put your comment let's say you can say that it is approved uh, so you can just put it and then hit the approve option here so this is where your this particular purchase order will get approved and then it will go off from your list as well so if you look at this it is going it has gone from this list 251 similarly if you have purchase requisitions you can just look at this purchase requisitions and you can also explore the different lines which are available and the same options which are available for the purchase order are available for this particular document as well where you can do the filtering on any purchase requisition any value or anything which you want to do it you can sort it based on this thing so all those informations like which or the all the options which are available on your her dynamics 365 are available here as well for you to take the actions and approve your different documents which are submitted for your review so and also now why we have let's say approved that other purchase order we can go back to our dynamics screen and look at that purchase order so if you look this 251 it has uh, got the approval updated in dynamics 365 fno 
and then you can also look at your workflow history that uh, who has taken the action and then the it has been completed uh, for us so so that all the informations which are uh, i mean uh, all the options which you had in this particular uh, fno environment are uh, you are able to do through that particular app and it is getting updated and synced in your real time so that's it about this particular mobile app and i think it is really helpful for all your customers if so i would suggest that we should give it a try and start using this and it has a license impact as well so it has the same license impact uh, which you have if you have to have the approval within the fno the same license would be required for using this mobile app as well so that's it for this particular video hope this is going to help you to explore this new feature and i'm going to talk about the different other apps which are available as and when it comes in the future videos thank you for watching and see you in the next one